Hello and welcome to Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is your, well, this is my <laughs> top 10 Royal Rumbles of all time. Now this is the top 10 Royal Rumble matches of all time, not specifically the pay-per-view because there's some matches that are really great on the pay-per-view that go kind of unnoticed. So uh, that's next week. We're going to be just talking about the Royal Rumble match itself today. Next week I've got Royal Rumble moments, so like the first blood match and things like that that I really like. But anyway guys, we're going to get into the top 10 today. Well, my top 10. Before we get into today's show, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. The podcast that I recorded yesterday will be put up tomorrow night for me, so it's like 8pm for me, which will depend on where you're in the world. I'm in Scotland, 8pm my time, whatever, you work it out. <laughs> right guys, let's get into today's show. So, number 10, Royal Rumble 99. Vince getting a win here over Austin was one of the best things. I love watching this, right, because everybody's like, Austin's going to win this, Austin's going to win this, then Vince wins. The guy's heel work was insane. Obviously, Vince McMahon is the owner of the largest wrestling company in the world. Like him or hate him, he is the owner of the largest wrestling company in the world. Well, entertainment company, but you know what I mean. The Him just being a heel and getting a win over Austin was insane, and I loved this one so much. When I was younger, I remember, I think it was like eight, seven. It'd have been seven. I remember popping for this one when I was at school. I remember people tell, talking about it and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, so number nine, Royal Rumble 2008. Now, I really like the arena set up in this one. Um, for me personally, I love that short, like, when it's like the, what's it called? The walls at the side, then the, the door, short entrance. I really like that. I really do. Um, one of the reasons why Rumble 2000 is my favourite as well. But seeing her coming back, returning, when everybody thought he was still going to be off, Getting a win. I really think that was cool. And I also think this is probably, 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 Scottish accent ruining words again. <laughs> one of the worst, uh, sorry, not one of the worst, one of the, the, the last great Cena runs at this point, 2008. Then I think he kind of went downhill later in that. Now, he did have a few good matches after that, but it was nothing like these runs here. Number eight, Royal Rumble 2000. The whole card here was great. I think it's mostly the street fight that makes this one feel better because you had the street fight and the undercard was great. Then you obviously had the main match which wasn't the best but it was good. Royal Rumble 2000 was one of the best and this is another one that I remember talking about in school. I actually remember getting the magazine, the WWF magazine um, and going through it and used to have the clips of matches that were in it so it would like, show you pictures. And I remember seeing the street fight, and then I remember seeing, um, oh, what's it called? The Royal Rumble, the, the kind of rock big show bit at the end. Um, I really, I like this one. Number seven, Royal Rumble 95. This had to be in here just because it's probably got the most played clip of all time in it when Shawn Michaels puts in the gimmick of the one foot, <laughs> like you're allowed to touch it side with one foot. That is used every single year. Like, I <laughs> because of this, it's used all the time. The rule changed, but um, yeah, it was a good one. Royal Rumble '92. I've put this at number six, right? But this could be my favourite Rumble. The fact that Flair won the belt here after coming off of two years of Hogan winning, this one just had it all. Like it had Taker in it, it had Sid Vicious in it. It just had a lot of guys that were on the cusp of something great and it, yeah I really like this one and I love Flair getting a win for it now I'm going to say number 5 is sorry guys number 5 is Royal Rumble 2020 yeah I say it guys <laughs> I love this one I loved how they put Brock in this Everybody, I remember sitting watching it and going Brock's going to win this he's just going to be in that ring and it's going to make him look dominant and he's going to win um, yeah, I remember this, and it was the last big, or out of the big four pay-per-views, it was the last one that had people in it uh, for 2020, obviously, but I know we got Elimination Chamber after it, but that's not really a big pay-per-view and the Super Showdown thing, but um, yeah, I remember 
this Royal Rumble being great. It just felt great. It felt good, and it felt like wrestling was off to like a good start. It was like twenty twenty Royal Rumble matches were all kind of good, and it was like yeah, wrestling's going to be a, a good good year. And then obviously twenty twenty happened. <laughs> Number four, Royal Rumble twenty eighteen. Nakamura picking up the win here. Now I know he goes on and it wasn't the great match with AJ as we were expecting, but after a couple of years of poor Royal Rumbles, 2015, 16, 17, won the great Royal Rumbles and Nakamura picking up the win here. It felt like a fresh kind of start. It felt like something new and it was pretty cool. Number three, Royal Rumble 2006. Where Rey Mysterio picked up the win. This because this meant so much. Mysterio coming in so early. And it meant so much for Eddie just dying. And Mysterio getting the win. Going on to WrestleMania. To have a good three way match. And win the belt. I really think this was one of the best rumbles. And I think it's it just means so much. I remember being a kid at the end. And just being emotional about like. What was happening. Like what was happening in the in the show like just this was an insane moment in wrestling number two Royal Rumble 2004 now I know this is controversial guys I know people don't like talking about Benoit and all that kind of stuff but this was a great match it was an underdog getting the win and it was a really really great showing going the triple threat at Wrestlemania as well once again was great and it was just like emotional for Benoit to get the win Obviously, he picked up the WCW belt, but this was really his kind of first big run as a champion. Number one, guys. This is just because of how much it means to me. I remember being in primary school when this one happened and everybody being around this boy. I'll tell you what it is first. Um, so it's Royal Rumble 2001. Um, so I was like nine, ten, nine. Um... I remember being in primary school, elementary for you American folks or yeah, primary school is a Scotland thing, England does it different but uh, I can't remember what I was in like primary five or something like that but I remember sitting uh, this boy had a, a kind of chipped pay-per-view box and <laughs> he got the, the wrestling show so he didn't have to pay for it dodgy stuff <laughs> and I remember he watched it and he had like he's a couple of friends from, from school up, but his mum would only allow him to bring two. And it, it was, so he was like, right, the two closest people. Plus it was up really late at night. So I, I, I wasn't able to go because my mum didn't want me to be up that late. So I was raging. Um, but I remember coming in on Monday and we're all crowded around him in the class. And they're sitting telling us what happened. The Kane eliminating all those people. Austin get, coming back, getting a win. The matches and the way it looked and everything drawing pictures and like I just remember it so so well like everybody was just talking about it and it was like it felt like a the like a peak do you know what I mean like it, it was just great I, I loved I loved watching it I really did and it was a a fun a fun match when I went back and actually seen it <laughs> I don't think it took me like two or three years to go actually see it, but um, it was a, a really fun match. In fact, it did because I got, I don't know if any of you will remember, the used to get the WrestleMania collection that came in a, like a kind of box with all the WrestleManias in it at the time. So I got that, and then the next year they brought out the Royal Rumble one, which was like a, a smaller box, but it was like white with gold trim and stuff like that. It was really nice looking, and it was all the Royal Rumbles up to that point. So I remember getting that and just sitting watching every single Royal Rumble. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, back in the days when we used to have DVDs, guys, <laughs> you have to change it every single time you want to watch something. But, um, yeah, that's my, my top 10 Royal Rumbles. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I know it's no... The top 10s are always, like, subjective. I know people are like, oh, but, oh you can't say 2015 was bad. You can't, like, you missed out 2019, whatever. Everybody's got different lists. What I want to know is, what's your favourite... Royal Rumble of all time. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell when you're down there. And um, yeah, I'll see you here tomorrow for the SmackDown review. Then we also have the podcast up. We've got the watch alongs. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming up this weekend. So I'll see you later, guys, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.